I guess to start things off, can you kind of take me um, through this treatment and why it's effective in schizophrenia patients, which are notoriously difficult to treat? Absolutely. I always love talking about schizophrenia and how heterogeneous an illness is and how difficult it is to treat these patients. Before I take you through the treatment, I want to make sure that you understand how important it is for us to document that there is a treatment that is effective when started during the inpatient hospitalization and then continued for a certain period of time, particularly if that period of time is uh, two months. Just to give you some numbers, out of 11 patients that are hospitalized for acute exacerbation of schizophrenia, one is readmitted to the hospital within one week. And if you look at the data, the data say that among 20 medical and mental health condition, this is the number one readmission rate. And so it is important that we have treatment, at least that we have, not simply that we have treatment, that we have documented efficacy and safety of the treatment that is started in an inpatient setting and then continued through the process of that we call transitional care. And that is the primary reason why we designed an Alpine study. I was uh, the team member, uh, I am not um, employed by Alchemers, but I had the privilege to work with the Alchemers team to design that study. And the study was designed as a first prospective study uh, to show efficacy and safety um, of a long acting injectables being started in the hospital and continued throughout the process of transition of care. So to go back directly to answer your question, this study was a study with a total duration of 25 weeks and the primary efficacy measure was designed at a four weeks time period. There was a screening period and the study included two treatment groups. One of the groups was um, Aristada, which is Aripiprazolauroxyl, and the second group uh, was the group that received Invega Sustena, which is Paliperidon. And you may be wondering, uh, why is that and in this study we did not have placebo? Because this is generally how we do all clinical trials to show that medication works. The reason we didn't have placebo is this was a study uh, that we label it as a phase 3B, which means it's a post-marketing study. And the purpose of the studies was really not necessarily to focus on documenting efficacy against placebo, because that has been proven in previous clinical trials, but more so to see what happens with this regimen of Aristada, which is a dose of 1064 milligrams that is scheduled to be given every eight weeks, with initiation regimen that is one day only. So this was basically the study. The primary efficacy measure was at four weeks. We used as it is generally used in all psychiatric uh, clinical trials involving patients with schizophrenia. We used positive and negative symptom scale, PAN scale as the primary efficacy measure. Now we also looked at some secondary efficacy measures which are data at week nine, at the week 25, where the patients received several of those injections, actually three of uh, injections of um, Aristada, 10, 1064 milligrams. 